everyone, this is Shahnaz from CrochetDreams.com and today I'm going to share another super quick blanket. You can make this blanket in 3 hours and that includes the time to weave in your ends. The finished blanket is 36 inches wide and 37 inches long. If you plan to add a border to your blanket, I will be showing you a trick to change colors every row without fastening off. For this blanket, I used Bernard Blanket Yarn, which is a size 6 super bulky yarn and a 10 millimeter crochet hook. If you are a tight crocheter, I would suggest you go up to an 11 millimeter or a 12 millimeter hook. So gather your supplies and let's get started. You can chain any multiple of 3 to begin. For a blanket that was 6, 36 inches wide, I chained 57. For the purpose of this video, I have chained 18. So let's begin the first row. The first row is a simple single crochet row. So work a single crochet into the second chain from hook. The loop on the hook never counts as a stitch. So this is the first chain and this is the second. So I'm going to work a single crochet into it. Insert your hook into the chain. Pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook to complete your single crochet. Work a single crochet into each of the chains. Generally people go under two loops of the foundation chain but for a yarn of this thickness I like to go under one loop or it seems to leave big holes in my work. So work a single crochet into each of the chains. until you reach the end of the row. And when you work the last stitch of your row, you will be changing colors. I'll show you how to do just that. So now we are at our last chain. So insert your hook into the last chain. Pull up a loop. You're just starting to work your single crochet as usual and when you have two loops left on your hook you will fasten off that color. This is if you're not adding a border. If you're adding a border I told you I'll show you a trick where you can just change colors without fastening off. So this is if you are not planning on adding a border and you have two loops left on your hook and you will pull through the next color to complete your single crochet. Chain 3 with the new color joined. That will count as your first double crochet. Turn your work. Tuck the yarn tails. Now skip the next stitch, not the st stitch that into which you have worked the beginning chain, but the next stitch and work three double crochet into the next. So work three double crochet into the next stitch after skipping one. Skip the next two stitches, one, two, and work three double crochet into the next. Skip the next two and work three double crochet into the next stitch. So that's how you work across the row, skip two stitches and then work three double crochet into the next. Repeat that until you have two stitches left. So skip the next two and work three double crochet into the next.
skip the next two and work three double crochet into the next. Skip two and three double crochet into the my yarn is caught in one of the hooks. Okay, let's get that out. Three double crochet into the stitch, and now we just have two stitches left. Then you skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the very last stitch. That's how you complete the row. But when you're completing the row, you need to pull up the next color or the first color back. So while completing this double crochet, we'll be joining the first color back. So yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two of the loops. You have two loops left on your hook and now you, you will join back the cream color. You can now trim the gray. Again, this is only if you are planning not to add a border. So you can keep the yarn out of your way. Now chain three with a new color joint. Skip the next double crochet. Skip the next double crochet and work three double crochet into the next. If you look at your work, you'll see these triangle formations. And you will be working three double crochet on top of each of those. And it goes into the middle stitch right there. So you will skip the next double crochet and then work three double crochet in to the next double crochet, which will be the middle double crochet of that three double crochet group. So it's like you're stacking triangles one on top of each other. Like that. So continue working three double crochet on top of each of these. So you will skip two double crochet and then work three double crochet on top of the next double crochet, which will be the middle one. Again, skip two double crochet and work three double crochet in the next. Now skip two double crochet and work three double crochet in the next. You will repeat that until you have two stitches left and you have worked on top of the last triangle. Skip the next two double crochet and work three double crochet on top of the next. Now you have two stitches left and the last stitch the last stitch is actually the beginning chain three. So skip the next one and work a double crochet on top of the beginning chain three. And that completes your row. But while working your last stitch, you will join back the gray color yarn. You can trim the cream and keep it out of your way. Join back the gray. So once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, 
and now you have two loops on your hook. This is when you will pull through the gray color yarn. Chain three. That will count as your first double crochet. Skip the next double crochet and work three double crochet on top of the next. This row is basically just a repeat of the previous row. So you will just be repeating row three to make your blanket. So work three double crochet on top of each of these triangles. It will go in the middle double crochet of each three double crochet group. And at the end of the row you will join the cream color yarn. So work your row, I have a knot right there. So work your row to the end, following the same pattern as the previous row, uh, and continue working your blanket, repeating the same row, changing colors at the end of every row. And I'll meet you at the end and show you how to finish your blanket. Now I'll show you how to weave in the ends once you finish your blanket. Thread a yarn needle with your tails. and weave in across the top of the triangle. Don't go here as it will show through these gaps. So go through the top of your triangle, in and out, in and out. And back through the same part and back again one more time so that's woven in neatly so always go through the top of your triangles and if you have a yarn tail away from its color, like suppose say this one here, I would suggest you go up this chain and then weave in across the top of the triangle like that. So that's how you finish your blanket. Now I'll show you how to change colors without fastening off. I've chained 15 and I'm at the end of row one and I have just one more single crochet to go. And I'll be joining the next color while working the last single crochet. So insert your hook into the last chain, pull up a loop, and I'm going to join the next color by pulling it through the last two loops. So I've joined gray color yarn, and I will chain three and work the second row with it. But I won't fasten off the cream color. I'll show you how I'll pick it up at the end of this row. Chain three and turn. Skip the next stitch. Three double crochet in the next. We're just working the pattern. The same one I showed you before. Row two of that. Skip the next two stitches and work three double crochet in the next. You repeat that until you have two stitches left. So now I have two stitches left. I'll skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the very last stitch. So if you're fastening off, 
I asked you to join the cream color back at this point. But since we are not fastening off, we have the cream color yarn at the other end and we're not able to pick it up. So I'll show you how to do that. So complete the double crochet as usual. You're not changing colors here. And you have that last loop. Put a stitch marker in that to keep it from unraveling. Use a locking stitch marker or you can even use a safety pin. And then we're going to start working from this side without turning our work and pick up the cream color. To do that, insert your hook through the top of your beginning chain. Beginning chain three. And then pick up the cream color yarn. So you have it across the side like that. That's why you need to add a border chain three the stitch marker is making noise chain three skip the next double crochet and work three double crochet into the next three double crochet on top of each of the triangles Skip the next two and work three double crochet on top of the next double crochet. We are on our last repeat now. And I'll show you how to pick up the gray color yarn. So now we have two stitches left. Skip the next stitch and you're supposed to work a double crochet into the next and pick up this gray while you work that. So skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the last stitch where you have that loop and the marker and everything. So just go ahead. If your stitch loosens up while you are working your last double crochet, you can just hold on to the loop, fold it and hold it so your stitch will stay tight. And work your last double crochet into that stitch where you have the loop dangling. So that completes your row three. Now you have to join your gray back. Actually while finishing the stitch you have to join the gray back. So when you have two loops on your hook you have to pull the gray through it. So take the stitch marker out. Pull this loop up. You can use your hook or just long enough to pull through loop shouldn't be too loose shouldn't be too tight pull through the two loops so that completes your row three and chain with your gray yarn joint so you have the gray yarn running on the side now turn and skip the next stitch this is the first stitch and this is the next one. Three double crochet on top of the next. Skip two, three double crochet on top of the next triangle formation. Let me get some yarn here. And now we have reached the end of the row where we have just two stitches left. 
So work a double crochet on top of a beginning chain three, which is also counted as a stitch. So skip the next and work a double crochet on top of the beginning chain three. Again, we don't have the cream color yarn here to pick it up. So we will just complete that double crochet and place a marker in that so it doesn't unravel. And we'll start again from this side where we have the cream color yarn, the right side. For that you will put your hook on top of beginning chain three. And pull up a loop using the cream color yarn. Chain three. Work the row from this side to this side. You skip the next double crochet, three double crochet on top. So you will continue the stitch pattern to the end and when you reach the end of the row you will remove the stitch marker and when you have two loops left on your last double crochet, you will pull through the gray color yarn, just like you did in the previous row. You'll see the yarn is like running across the side, and I'll show you how to add the border. So I'll meet you once I finish the blanket. So let's see how to add a border and hide these strands running across the side of your blanket. So I'm at the end of my last row. I'll chain one and work a single crochet row across these row ends and I'll evenly distribute the single crochet as far as possible. So I chained one and I'll work two single crochet right next to the corner. Try not to go too deep into your work or it will leave holes. Keep working single crochet across and keep checking the back of your work as well. See there's a strand running here. You have to make sure that you cover that. So hold that and go every row. Please check the back of your work as well to make sure you're catching every side strand that's running there. So that will clean up your work and give it a better finish. This one right here. Just make sure you cover that. And when you reach near the next corner, work two single crochet near the corner on either side, two here and two on this side. That will help you turn. And continue working single crochet like that, making sure you catch all the strands in between any side strands that is on the back or on the front and continue working your single crochet across taking care not to leave gaps in your work if you find that it leaves a hole take off your stitch and try to go through one loop or ins try inserting your hook in a way that doesn't leave a hole For the foundation chain side I found that if you insert your hook under where the two loops cross each other it kind of holds better. So you can try that. 
and repeat that until you reach the next corner where you'll put two on each side of the corner reach the corner so I'll put two here right before the corner and two right after it now we have to work across the side you can weave this in later so I'll just try to catch the side strands this one right running right across here so that's the one I want to catch. So work your single crochet row all around your blanket, catching those strands wherever they are and hiding them in between your stitches. So that's how you add a border and hide the extra side strands that pop up and you don't fasten off every row. I hope you enjoyed working on this blanket. If you did, please like, subscribe and press that bell icon to receive notifications when I post new patterns. Thank you so much for watching.